name's Ashley Rice. I'm Lowell Rice. And welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, you guys, I am so excited for today's video. As you saw, we are going to be trying some vegan pizza today, and I have been wanting to try this brand for forever. Yeah. Yeah. But before I get into this review with my husband, if you are new to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe and click the little bell down below to receive notifications for my future videos. Also make sure to give this video a thumbs up, it really helps on my channel. But the vegan pizza that I have been waiting months to try and finally found it in stores is this Sweet Earth's veggie pizza. And this one is vegan, not all of their pizzas are vegan, so you do specifically have to look for it. On this one, it was a little hard to find. Where did it say vegan? So it'll say vegan on the top of the package. So if you look up here, that's how you'll know. So it'll say vegan. Um, I don't know if they have any other flavors that are vegan. I think it's just the veggie lovers one. The crust includes cornmeal, carrots, and chia. And then it also has broccoli, Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, corn, and much more. It is Brussels sprouts. Oh. That's, I'm really excited for that. I've never done Brussels sprouts on pizza before. It can be good if done right, and okay. I'm curious to see if frozen pizza is a good way of doing it. <laughs> so it is 70% organic. One serving size is one third of the pizza. That's such a weird serving size. Who splits a pizza between three people? It doesn't... I don't like that. Calories are 230. Total fat is six grams. Sodium is 290 milligrams. Total carbs are 37 grams, which is 12% of your daily value. Dietary fiber is five grams. Sugar is three grams. Protein is six grams. And you're getting 10% of your daily value of vitamin A, 60% of your daily value of vitamin C. That's pretty good. You're getting 4% of your daily value of calcium and 10% of your daily value of iron. It's interesting that it has more fiber than sugar in there. They have two sauces on here. A creamy vegan cauliflower sauce and a zesty marinara. Hmm. Oh, it does have wheat in it. Oh, uh, okay. So it's not gluten-free. Sorry. It also contains soy. So if you're allergic to soy or wheat, you are going to want to steer clear from this particular vegan pizza. Okay. So I think that's everything to tell you right now. We're going to wait for the pizza to finish up in the oven and then we will come back and try it out for you guys. This is what it looks like fresh out of the oven. It's looking pretty good. Uh, the cheese is spread pretty well on there. There's definitely like pockets of a bit more broccoli than other spots. There's one spot that's just destroyed with Brussels sprouts. Okay, shall we grab a slice? Let's do it. Okay, I want to, I want to, I want to move this Brussels sprout colony around the pizza. <laughs> I actually really like that there's corn on here. I would not purposely ever put corn on my pizza, but I'm like actually really excited about it. You're losing Brussels sprout. Oh no, little buddy. You ready? Let's do it. Blink. Hmm. I had corn in that first bite and it like popped open with like liquid, hmm. which I really liked. Yeah, they got a really good set of spices on this. Mm-hmm. Gotta say, when I first smelled it, I was a little wary <laughs> and I'm like, hmm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this, but you know, some of those spices really come out in taste that didn't and smell. Mm -hmm. They handled the Brussels sprouts pretty well. They pre-cooked it the right amount for a frozen pizza. There is a bit of crunch with the tiny amount of crust that is on here. I'm really liking this corn. <laughs> I would not have expected me to like it this much, but I'm like really enjoying it. It like adds a different bit of texture to it and I'm like really liking it. Hmm. I think they figured since they were doing cornmeal in the crust, they may mm. as well do corn on the pizza. That would be a unifying thing that would make the crust seem less weird. Well, also, because if you don't see the corn and you taste corn, it probably is going to weird you out. So, like, seeing mm. the corn and tasting the corn, like... Yeah, I gotta meet the it. expectations. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, I, if I go just for a bit of the crust, I can t just taste the cornmeal. Also, something I'm loving about the corn, I'm obsessed with the corn, apparently, is it adds a little bit of sweetness to the pizza. And the sauce is great, by the way. The sauce tastes really nice. I wonder which cheese they used for this because it, it melted pretty nicely. It's a provolone style cheese alternative. Interesting. It's not a particular brand. It's one they made in-house. Yeah, no, it's really good, guys. I would 100% get this again. The big other vegan, like, bake in your oven vegan pizza that is out there is Daya. And I would 100% choose this over Daya every single time. Overall, this is like really, really enjoyable. And I see what all the hype is about because I've had so many other Minnesotan vegans, like, praising this. 
Okay, so being the non-vegan right now, for those of you who are new to my channel, this is my husband, he's not vegan. How would you compare this to some of the other frozen pizzas you get? I think it does a good job with all the veggies of feeling less processed, which is a big risk on frozen pizza especially. You don't really notice the fake cheese. It's just, it does what the cheese needs to do on a frozen pizza, which is just, you know, add a little bit of uh, texture, add a little bit of moistness to it. I didn't really notice one way or the other as we were eating it. It took like halfway through this for me to even comment on it. Yeah, that is true. Um, one thing, I'll interrupt for a second. One thing about this vegan cheese though, sometimes it can get a little sticky to your teeth. You kind of have to lick it off a bit. It's, all, it's very rare and I think it's just when you hit like an extremely like stringy part that just wants to cling to stuff and so it clings to your teeth. I might go for this once in a while. I wouldn't say this is like the only frozen pizza I'd ever do. I tend to mostly go for like a our Red Baron pizza. So if like one end was zero and the other end was ten, where would you put it on the scale? I'd probably put this around a seven or an eight. Mm -hmm. I agree. If you hadn't been told this was a vegan pizza, would you know? I might question how many veggies there were on there. <laughs> and why there's no meat. But I wouldn't necessarily think, oh, it's a vegan pizza. I would definitely be like, oh, I guess we're having vegetarian pizza today. Yeah, guys, honestly, so good. If it's in your area, 100% get that. Even if you're not vegan, like, it's just fun to play around with vegan products. Um, and it tasted really, really good. <laughs> yeah, like, if you're just lactose intolerant and wanted a pizza that doesn't set you off, like, this would be a pretty decent one to at least try. So I think that's our thoughts for today. Definitely worth buying if you see it is so yummy. Let me know in the comments below if you have tried out this vegan pizza at all and what your thoughts were of it. Did you like it? Did you not like it? I'd be surprised, but let me know. <laughs> also, let me know what some of your favorite vegan pizza brands are or what you like to put on as toppings. I would love to know all of that down below in the comments. Also, if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and click the little bell down below to receive notifications for my future videos. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.